Introducing the Paddy Power World Darts Championships. Online darts, everyone. We're here for the Paddy Power World Champions launch, and Emma's making her debut on the channel. Oh Emma. My God. <laughs> Uh, Emma, special time of year, isn't it? The World Championships is now here. I know, and we're here for the draw today. So we don't know the draw yet. So no. I'm just going to put that out there. That's a little like precursor. At the time of filming, it's, the time not, of filming, it's not your fault. There's an asterisk next to all of this. Um, but yeah, it, it feels like it's, we're two weeks away. So it feels like, okay, we're so close. The countdown's on. Christmas is coming. The world is coming. I want to take you all the way back from when you first started doing the darts to where it is now. It's, it's been some journey for you, isn't it? It has. Like, it's actually weird thinking about it because people always say, oh, this is like, what, your second world? And I'm like, no, I, this is like my fourth world now yeah. coming up to it. But obviously that first one was so different because it was behind closed cool. doors, like you couldn't, couldn't really even compare. But um, And then you compare that to last year where it was, you know, we'll say it, possibly greatest like worlds ever, like yeah. when you think back to the final. So yeah, ridiculous. And even just like this, I know it feels like we talk about it every major tournament, but the standard of darts, the different players, the depth of darts at the moment and where, you know, a winner can kind of come from anywhere. That's why I'm so excited to do the draw today and just intrigued to see you know some of these early matchups um, and like names like Luke Littler for example or na you know it's not like yeah we're looking forward to seeing Luke Humphreys in it but we're also looking forward to seeing like a 16 year old called Luke as well so well, that, that 16 year old is going to be the one to be avoided when those but this is what we're saying yeah. it's like that's one of the names that I'm excited to see come out of the, the hat because it's like who's he going to be facing in the first round and ultimately in the second round well when you first took it the, the, the job to, to flagship the, the dark yeah. what, what, what was that like obviously because you had obviously Clark and then, and then Nigel did a, a little stint as well. So th yeah. there must have been some nerves saying yes when you first nerves. did it. Nerves? Like, are you kidding me? I was speaking <laughs> to someone about this the other day. I was like, I, I actually think it was probably, like, I maybe would have had less nerves going into football or something because it was darts and it's quite, you know, it's, it's more niche, yeah. say. And, you know, there's such a fan base. You know what darts Twitter can be like. Um, can it? <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you've experienced that, Phil. Well, you know. Um, but, yeah, it was just like, I think the people made it. But you, you said, like, obviously, Clarky had stepped down you know Rod wasn't around for a while as well because he was ill and these, yeah. these were two of the the huge kind of characters in the Sky Sports Darts team yeah. so kind of like walking in there and obviously now like Wayne's my best friend you know he doesn't think that but I think that and <laughs> friends with like you know Webby John and um, yeah super welcoming and like just the perfect team around me kind of thing so that helps for sure what's it like keeping those three in check then is it like you've seen it is it's it, not is, easy all right? is, is it like being mum to all three and just clipping yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's mum, but like, yeah, you know yeah, it's like yeah. guys, come on, yeah. come on. Um, because what you kind of see on camera is basically a, a seriously watered down version of what you see off camera, basically. Um, and it is hard to keep them in check. You've been with them in the media room, yeah, in yeah. the press room. It's not easy. Have you been surprised the way darts has even evolved over the, the years that you've been in, involved in it? Because we also been Michael dominating before and now it's just wide open that you go into tournaments thinking this could be anyone. But that was it. I think the period of time that I came in, Michael was still in that period, but then that year, it was what was the year when Price won the world with the, the title, and um, that was when he was having a, a brilliant year. And then, kind of after that, I suppose it was you know Peter again. But you're still wrestling between the big names of whether it was Van Gogh, whether it was going Price, or whether it was Peter. Right? Obviously, Michael Smith came through. But now, like this year, when you think back, like Dobie winning the Masters, Gilding at the UK Open throughout the summer. Yes, Van Gogh was there. Yes, Peter Wright's there winning you know European Championship and stuff. But that's why I think we all knew that Luke Humphreys was going to come through at some point. But picking up the last three TV titles. Like, wow. But I think what Dobie showed, what Andrew Gilding shown, that these winners for these big TV titles can kind of come from anywhere. I think the World Championship may be slightly different because I think we expect big names at the business end to be there. But can a, I don't know, like a Josh Rock, who was so hyped up last year, maybe playing even better than that this time around, coming into the world, who knows? Um, the likes of, you know, Gary Anderson again. Who, the resurgence. Well, yeah, the resurgence. <laughs> like, that is, I think that's that, that first final that um, well, that, that was the first world I worked on but obviously Price won but Gary was in the final yeah, yeah. like yeah so stuff's changed but then you've still got the same obviously the same kind of big names have you been surprised how much you've got invested in it to start with because before I remember you were like yeah yeah and now you're like right, Bill, what's going on? 
I will watch PDC TV, I will watch anything and everything. Like, I fire up the streams, I'm always watching stuff, like, I'll be double screening, have like women's series on my iPad, or, you know, yeah, of course. Like, but that's, it's just when you're so in something, isn't it? And you're so kind of invested, and obviously it's part of my job as well, but. Well, on the I'm women as well, what Fallon, Bo, Lisa, Makuru have done over the last few years has been incredible to transform the women's game and literally put it into the mainstream. Yeah, which is why, obviously, it's a shame for us that we're not going to see Bo at the Worlds. And I think back, purely thinking what she was like at the Grand Slam. And this is like a 19 year old who's on her debut. People saying, oh, they're talking about Bo Greaves again. They're hyping up this is classic Sky. Yeah. And then, okay, she was, what, a dart away from actually topping the yeah. group and going through to the knockout. So, um, yeah, it's been like incredible. And look, we'll see her for years to come. But we're going to be, sorry guys, we're going to be talking about Fallon at the Worlds. We're going to be talking about Makuru as well. And we're going to kind of continue to talk about them. Um, and hopefully, who knows who they're going to draw today, but it should be it should be interesting. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see both of them. Excited to see Makuru back on that stage as well. Obviously, she's played there once before, but it'll be good to see her back. Well, it's hard not to talk about Ali Palin, not talk about Fallon. Let, let's be fair because of what she, yeah. she did there. But we should. So we should. Like, you know, it was, it's weird thinking that was, what, four years ago now? Man. She beat Ted and then Mensa. But yeah, like, she is, you know, yes, on the shoulders of other women, but she has laid those foundations. And, you know, that's why we've got the likes of Bo and other girls coming through. So. Emma, pleasure as always. I know you've got things to go and do yeah, elsewhere here, here I today. Mind. I might stay here for a bit, yeah, just like, chill in this that Davey's now done and dusted. We've hunted you down at last That's together. Fine. That's it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Introducing the Paddy Power World Darts Championships.